Cool. All right, we got two more questions. Let's uh, cruise on through them. Uh, next question from Free Ninja. I didn't know they had free ninjas. Konnichiwa. Question. Is this the true Japanese kanji translation for the word ninja? Mm. I was thinking of getting a tattoo. We just talked about tattoos. Mm. And wanted to ask a reliable source. I also was thinking of using the kanji in a business logo, but wanted to make sure it was correct. Mm. Any help, suggestions, criticisms you could offer would be great. Thanks in advance. Hi. That kanji is the right one. Yes. Please use that. Right. Make sure when you get a tattoo, though, you know, make sure that yeah. that's a, the order, nin and ja. You don't want to ja nin, right? So it's and always, that it's not upside down. Well, yeah. Or, or yeah, backwards. Right, backwards. Be ba I've seen, seen backwards. So many backwards kanji. You know, yeah. watching TV. So that's backwards. Backwards. So make sure uh, yeah. that it's the uh, right way. Yeah. Done in the right way. Yes, and make sure that the person doing it is either going to follow something exactly mm. and that it is a good quality, you know, characters, mm. or so that they like are... A, yeah, like elementary school kid. Yeah, <laughs> really like bad. bad right? So it's very sure. risky, so you really, really want to do your research. Right, because it's not easily undone and do it no. again and stuff. So, yeah, please... Uh, but that kanji, that one is the right one. Hi. And of course, then if you get one, you're going to have the same problem as our last question going oh, to onsen. onsen. If you are yeah. interested in yeah, going to onsen, onsen, make it small so that you yeah, have you can cover it. chance to, yeah. All right, uh, next question from Amy. Uh, I just started to learn Japanese, so I'm like a total beginner, but I know two other languages, English being native mm -hmm. and Spanish, mm -hmm. intermediate. Good. But I want to know um, when you... <laughs> okay. When you know to use hiragana, katakana, kanji. I don't know if I spelled those right, but once I learn them, I don't want to put them in the wrong order. I know you use katakana for names, and that's all I know. If you could help me... That would be great. Thanks. Mm. So kanji is used for nouns, like words like cat or like mm -hmm. dog or whatever. And then uh, stems of verbs, like me do, mm -hmm. like me. Look, yes, and then look. Do would me be is hiragana. kanji and do would be hiragana. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So, or like a particle, mm -hmm. like wa or ga or ni. Ah, no, hiragana. hiragana. For, yeah, for, for hiragana. particles. Yeah. For hiragana, yes. Kanji is used for nouns. And then hiragana, uh, like stems, verb stems, or particles. And um, katakana, uh, for foreign words, like a long words. Right, not just names. Right, but names, yes, foreigner's name. Right. Uh, so your name would be spelled in um, katakana. katakana. Mine, uh, hiragana. Mm. And my uh, family name, or maiden name, uh, family name, is mm. um, kanji. So more, uh, our family names, Japanese people's family names, are written in kanji. And also, first name too. Uh, can be hiragana or kanji. Mostly kanji, right. written in kanji. Mine is in hiragana, mm -hmm. but most people have kanji names. Right. Um, now, since you're just starting out, my recommendation would be um, learn hiragana and katakana first and learn them together. I made the mistake of learning hiragana first, and I now can't, I can't remember katakana. I've tried and tried and tried, and I just can't ever remember it. I can read hiragana, no problem, and I know a lot of kanji, but I can't ever read katakana. I recommend to learn at the same time. So you yeah. don't have to memorize the 20 a day. It just, I always do with my students, private lesson, um, mm -hmm. 10 characters a week. A week. So, aiueo, hiragana, aiueo, katakana, uh, 10 characters a week. Every week I give them homework. 
Cool. And then if you go to our site, japancast.net, um, under support us, we have uh, on that page at the bottom links to all kinds of Japanese study books from Amazon. Yeah. There's also our app in the App Store if you have a, an uh -uh. iPod Touch or an iPhone. Mm. And there's a free version of that and paid version, which has all level one Joyo Kanji and right. soon level two. And then if you want just free, go to our site and search for master plan in the search box. And quite a long time ago, mm, like, like in 2005 or 2006, mm. we did um, yeah. a master plan on learning to write Japanese. So, all right, um, we're going to run out of time here. So let's quick stop the camera and then move forward after that. Okay. Show starts in one minute. All right. Uh, thank you guys for your questions. Keep them coming. Um, but one of the ways that we offer, again, talking about our site, hmm. to meet people who want to, they want to learn English, right. is friends.japancast.net. Hmm. One of the best ways to learn Japanese by writing to a pimple. Uh, this week's featured member is KJR926. He's a 25-year-old VIP member, which means anyone can contact him without having a paid membership. He says, I'm looking for a roommate in Japan. I have a group of room sharing. I am an international person on internet and experienced to exchange language and culture. Let's move on the service I have been using and talk with me in real time. I am looking for who can talk English like native, who are interested in Japan or Japanese, who are going to come to Japan in near future. Actually, on this website, it's easier to make friend who is girl, but I'd like to make friends are both of men and women. It's not matter whether the person is he or she. My keywords, medicine, physical therapy, physiotherapy, social business, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, nonprofit organization, <laughs> medical business, exchange language and culture, English learning, reading. I have communicated over 500 people from all the world, and I have met some of them in person in Japan. Mm -hmm. I organize a group considering health promotion and social work in the viewpoint of rehabilitation. Please cooperate with us. Anyway talk with about everything. I welcome all. Yay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. Very different, you know. Well, we haven't had a guy. No. So I thought it'd be, it's time to have a, a guy. <laughs> looks like a fun guy to um, right. talk to. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. So yeah. if you're looking for a pen pal, you're looking for somebody, there's so many people on mm -hmm. friends.japancast.net yeah. who are That's looking sick. for somebody else. VIP member, if you search for them, their their color is different when you're searching oh. through, and that means you can chat with them. They've what they've done is they've paid a membership fee to allow other people to contact them. Mm. They're looking; they really want to find friends. So, yeah. find VIP members, and you can contact them free of charge. Great. So, I think that's it for this episode. We love getting your questions. So send them to Hitomi at japancast.net, and we will try to answer them on a future show. Hi. Again, thanks to all of you who've donated to keep us going. We really appreciate that. It's very nice of you. And we'll see you again next time. Japancast.net.